Hi, Melanie here with another process video. I'm using a date stamp, black ink pad, some washi tape, a free printout, some tags I made myself using watercolor and watercolor paper, an eraser, a black ballpoint pen, a pencil, some watercolors, and my new KJV Journal the Word hardcover Bible. These are not all of the supplies I'm going to use. As you will see, my thought process is never ending. So let's jump right into it. We are in Moving Mountains Lesson 1. This is an eight-part series that will explore what it takes for us as believers in God to move oppositions and mountains from our lives. As you can see, I'm searching to find the outline of the wreath. I forgot that I didn't have my contacts in, so it was hard to see what I was tracing. This series is not about how we can use God as our personal genie or that we would not have trouble in our lives. It's more about having and keeping a relationship with God, even when we can't find God or see his plan working in our lives. While serving God, trouble can hit our life so hard that we may want to lie in a hole and cover up with dirt. But if we stay in faith, even in the hole, God will move mountains in our lives. Thanks for joining me. I just want to spend some time in the Word with you. Bible art journaling is still a fun and exciting way for me to connect with God. Art journaling is not required. It's just the way I choose to connect. For me, the artwork makes connecting tangible. If you have been following my videos, I taught in Lesson 7 in the Reconnecting with God series on salvation. You can find the video in the link. God promised us as believers a new covenant. Part of this new covenant became available when Jesus died. After his ascension, this part of the new covenant became available to all believers to partake. The new covenant is an ongoing relationship between believers and God that will fully come to pass after the second coming of Christ. So basically, I downloaded a free print out and traced it with pencil onto my page. Now I'm going over it with a black ink pen. Romans 10, 9, 10. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. I'm just using my trusty blow dryer to dry the ink, and we'll go in and we'll erase the pencil markings. So I'm going to play some music as I add some color to this wreath.
forgot to color some of the leaves, but I'll go back in and fill them in. You can see how indecisive I am as I think my way through this scrap lifted creative process. A salvation is a spiritual gift that manifests itself physically. Salvation is being saved or protected from harm or being saved or delivered from some dire situation. I'm adding a few layers of washi tape at the top of the page so that I have a border to put my tab on. This is part of the new covenant that Jeremiah talks about. No longer will they teach their neighbor or say to one another, Know the Lord, because they will all know me. From the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord. For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. When we accept Jesus as our Savior, this part of the new covenant is available to us. We also have a place in eternity with Christ as we keep believing and keep professing. We have to fight and work, work out our salvation. I'm taking some black watercolor paint and splashing it all over my page. This will add some depth to the page. Once again, I'm using my trusted blow dryer. I do have a heat tool. I'm just more comfortable using my blow dryer. And there, I am filling in those leaves that I missed earlier. So I added a tab at the top. I made that tab myself and it just says salvation. And so I am now uh, just putting a tag on the page, like a gift tag. I added a black ribbon to it. And the tag says, when we receive the free gift of salvation, we embark on a whole new journey in our lives. Jude 25 says that God is the ultimate primary savior. When Jesus gave himself as a ransom for our sins, he broke the veil and freed us to come to God for ourselves. And this allows us to have a personal relationship with God. This relationship is based on Romans 10, 9 through 10, faith in God, his son Jesus, and the continual professing of this faith. So I'm just putting some washi tape all over. I'm trying this new date stamp out and I covered up the the date at the top of the page because it was March 40th or something like that. So um, I got it straight at the end. Remember, we are saved from ourselves. We are saved to God. And we are saved from the world. You don't have to create the same artwork or even display your creation. Just get in the word of God and allow it to transform you. As believers, let's go deep into God's word and pull out the beauty of it. It's your turn to create. Yes, take this challenge and create what God has put on your heart. God bless you and your family.